Greetings all, we are coming at you from our camp in the Wallowa Whitman National Forest in Union County here near La Grande, Oregon. Let's uh, take a look around, see where we're camped. This is our last night at this camp. We've been here for about a week. Grilled up some tri-tip, warmed up some baked beans. We're gonna hang out by the fire and have our dinner. Hobbs is hanging out over there, staying warm. It's been cooling off here at night and getting down into the high 30s, mid 30s, but warming up to 60 or so during the day. We had two days of rain, so we spent the day today kind of drying everything out in the sun, getting packed up so we can take off first thing in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and load my bike up in the morning, hitch up the trailer. Should be out of here by nine or so. But it's been a great stay, really quiet out here. I think we're one of the few people camped out here. Good morning. We are waking up to a nice, cool, crisp morning this morning. Uh, it's the coolest morning we've had here uh, coming into the cooler months of fall. Got down to about 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, first frost. Actually got some frost on my motorcycle here, I was noticing. Today is departure day. I really should have loaded my motorcycle up uh, yesterday evening, but uh, time got away from me. I was busy getting the fire going and cooking dinner. So I'm going to be getting loaded up here. I'm going to get the trailer hitched up, then load the motorcycle in. And uh, just got a few things to pick up around camp. Do a walk through, pick up all the micro trash that was here before we got here. And uh, give the fire pit a good stir, stir. We did have a good fire last night, even though it froze overnight. I always like to take my shovel, stir up the coals there to make sure there's nothing going before we take off. Spritz a little water on it, just to be safe. I do not want to be responsible for burning down a forest. And this was just an awesome camp. It was so quiet here. Really no other campers around and really no other people. It was just uh, not busy at all. Right next to this open meadow here. Didn't see a lot of wildlife. Kelly did see uh, some elk and some deer. Uh, I wasn't around when she saw them. I saw a grouse and a couple flocks of wild turkeys. But that's about it for wildlife. It's just very nice and peaceful here. But it is time to move on. Got to start getting some miles behind us. It's just going to continue to get cooler in this region. So we're going to move on. And we're going to be in some cold climates, uh, making our way south. We're going to have to go through some higher elevations and probably camp for a night or two here and there. But overall, looking forward to... Just getting back on the road and exploring new camps. We'll be probably doing one or two more camps here in Oregon before we find a camp in Idaho. And probably we'll only be doing one or two camps in Idaho. We'll see. And then from there, we're not sure. We may be going through Utah. We may be going through Nevada. We'll figure it out as we go. It is time to do this. We had a couple days of rain here. And the road coming down here is pretty rutted, especially directly in front of me. But we can bypass some of it cutting through the camp here. 
And uh, when I came in, I kind of took note if they were to get some decent rain, if we'd have to worry about getting stuck here, but I think we're gonna be okay. This soil is pretty greasy. It gets real slick, uh, but I think we're gonna be just fine. Oh, it is nice to see those blue skies. This is a national forest I had never been in before, and I really like it. I'm gonna put this in my notes, probably come back. I'm ever in this region. Get a couple miles of gravel road to get out of here, then we'll be hitting the highway. You're still uh, using Interstate 84 slash Highway 30, heading south. Okay, we're coming up on pavement here. This first part of this road here has some really deep potholes. Really got to just creep through here. I saw this barrel on the way in for grouse hunters. Looks like the Forest Service uh, does some surveying. They want you to... Grouse wings are needed for harvest information. Please deposit one wing and tail from each grouse you harvest in a paper bag. There's no real door on that. You think other animals would go in there and want to pick those wings out of there. What a beautiful day. All right, it is time to get on the highway. 84 East, Highway 30, Le Grand. That's where we're headed. Away we go. Coming into downtown historic La Grande. Some neat old buildings here. Sneak by, yeah. The Granada old theater there, neat. A lot of brick. These trees have lost their leaves already. It looks like there is a old historic log cabin I'm gonna drive up and take a look at. I actually passed right by it, didn't realize it. I'm gonna head back up there. Short little drive. Eastern Oregon University. Okay, there is a university here. I don't know that I'd call the Grand a city. It's small enough. I think it qualifies as a town. Okay, let's go check out this old log cabin. Got a board here with the history of La Grande. I'm saying Daniel Chaplin laid out the original Old Town in the spring of 1862. Ben Brown built the first house, a log cabin, alongside the Oregon Trail, the corner of B Avenue and Cedar Street. And I believe this is the log cabin they're referring to. Let's go check it out. Oh, <laughs> neat. Well, it is locked, you can't go inside, but it's pretty neat to check it out. Things been around a while.
Got a nice view up here on the hill too. Town of Legrand is just down in here. Oh, the wind is picking up. It's pretty breezy up on this hillside. Okay, we're gonna move on from the old historic log cabin. I gotta go do some grocery shopping and we'll uh, head out for our next camp. Well, it is time to move on from Legrand, Oregon. We've got water, food, gas, fuel. It's time to get back on the highway. We're just gonna be going about, oh, 40 miles or so south. And then cutting east off the highway a little bit. See if we can find a place to camp. Away we go. have exited the interstate, heading out into the country. Looks like mostly uh, cattle ranchers and uh, agriculture. Small farmhouses out here. And quite a few wind turbines up on the hillsides. We must get this heavy wind pretty often here. It looks like we've got about six more miles of this gravel road. So far, it's not too bad. It's not really any washboard. Uh, very little potholes or anything. Pretty smooth. Looks like it's pretty well maintained. Well, here we are. This is called Thief Valley Reservoir. Looks like there's a couple toilets out here. In this little loop with some little gravel pull-ins. Table, fire ring. We can get a place up near the water. And there is nobody out here. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, looks like there's a water pump. I wonder if it's drinkable water. Looks like kind of a little pull around one here. Well, we've gotten settled in at camp here. We backed in up against the reservoir. And that wind is still blowing, but it does seem like it's dying down a little bit. But it's pretty darn windy. But it's nice to be able to sit inside and look out, have a view of the water. The sun's gonna set right over those hills there. Good morning. It, it is a very nice, peaceful morning here this morning. Uh, it's been windy the last couple days here. It seems like the wind dies down after the sun sets, then picks up back up at sunrise. But this morning, it seems like the wind is holding off, and it just changes everything. The wind has been blowing pretty heavy. Um, the thing I like about being out where there's no trees and it's windy is you don't have to worry about a tree falling on your vehicle, which is something I worry about when I'm in dense forests and it gets really windy. Uh, but yeah, this time of the morning here, I'm hoping this holds. We're going to be here for another full day. It'd be really nice to have not a windy day. And uh, yeah, there's just something about this place being surrounded by all these hills here and being the only ones down here. Uh, waking up in the morning and stepping out, there's just a special feeling that I really can't put into words or translate into video. It's just the feeling of being here and the peace and freedom. Um, thinking back of the long gravel road coming in here, kind of not knowing what to expect when we got here and now being here. Um, everything that's led up to this point and um, yeah, just really hard to put into words, but it just feels really good. Feels really good.